Hello students and welcome to another online class video. This is the part 2 of the presentation or lesson Nature of Light. In our video number 1, we discuss the following theory, the wave theory of light according to Christian Huygens, corpuscular theory of light proposed by Isaac Newton, quantum theory by Max Planck, and electromagnetic theory by James Clerk Maxwell. Now let's continue the remaining theory of light. Wave particle duality theory is proposed by Louis de Broglie. So he is a French physicist proposed a hypothesis to explain the theory of the atomic structure by using a series of substitution, the Broglie hypothesizes particles to hold properties of waves. So in short, light behaves as both particle and a wave. Okay, so what is light? So light is a form of electromagnetic radiation. Okay? It is a straight path of light and called light rays. So the only electromagnetic wave that we can see. Okay? And the color depends on the wavelengths. Okay, so when you say light, um, this is uh, synonymous to visible light. Okay, again, visible light can be found in the middle of our electromagnetic spectrum chart. Again, this is the only electromagnetic uh, wave or electromagnetic uh, radiation that is uh, can see by our naked eye. So we have colors of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. They are, uh, they are different in terms of their wavelengths. Okay, so yung, mata, yung malaki ang wavelength, siya yung malapit sa red. At yung may pinakamaliliit naman ang wavelength, siya yung malapit sa violet. Okay? Now, in this formula, C is equals to lambda times frequency. So, wavelength is measured by meters and frequency is measured by hertz. So, to get the speed, okay, the speed of light, Okay, that is the formula. Okay, so the speed of light is 3 times 10. I'm sorry, 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Again, the speed of light is 3 times 0 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Now, we have characteristics of light. So, when you say characteristics of light, this is how the light behaves or the speed of light changes when passing to a solid medium. So we have three types of its characteristics. First is transparent. So when we say transparent, it allows light to pass through completely. Translucent allows light to pass through partially. And opaque doesn't allow light to pass through. Rather, light is absorbed from shadows. So kung tayo papasok sa simbahan, di ba? We can see stained glass. So that's an example of translucent. No? Tayo naman ay mga may plastic uh, covering or glass panels. That's, that's uh, an example of transparent materials. Lahat naman ng uh, solid materials na nagkakas ng shadow is an example of opaque materials. So we have the region of complete shadow is called the umbra in this illustration. And the region of diffuse shadow is called penumbra. These shadows are formed on Earth during solar eclipse and from the umbra we, we see total eclipse. While from penumbra, only partial eclipse is visible. So that is, uh, that's all in the topic, Nature of Life. Thank you for listening.